what does it take to be one in a billion? I wouldn't know. I guess he's the only one who does. 1.3 billion Indians and there isn't a single person in the country who can do what he does or has done what he's done. Must be lonely, but I guess he's used to it. It's not like he's some talented prodigy. Not even like he's some kind of role model who can convince kids to brush their teeth. All he can do is ride a bike. Fast. Really, really fast. People pamper him, tell him he's a legend. So what? This is his life story. He decides where it starts and where it ends. He's crazy, stupid, ambitious and passionate. Crazy enough to pick up a sport that no one's heard of. Stupid enough to want to finish a race, even when he was in flames. And passionate enough to never stop. And ambitious enough to aim to be the best of the best of the best. If history teaches us anything, it's that life changes with every decision you make. It changes when you fall for the first time and realize your body isn't as strong as you think. Or when you want to fly. Run. Broken bones, third degree burns, overexertion, overexhaustion, pain in parts of the body he's never heard of. That's when he realized he wasn't invincible. That's when he knew he was no Superman. And luck has two sides. Then why do it? He's got his whole life ahead of him. He can do anything. Why would he even attempt a rally like Dakar? 9,000 kilometers, 14 days, three countries. What, is he insane? Of course he's insane. When it rained, he rode. When he broke his foot, he used the other one. On days, he didn't even have the energy to get off his bike. And if you asked him, he'd do it again. He'd break his bones, burn what's left of his body. But he will ride, and ride he will. This is C.S. Santosh. This is his life. Follow his footsteps. <laughs> Only if you dare.